John, what you got? I think I got some good stuff as well, Cromwell. Okay. Greetings, viewers. Uh, there are reports uh, that there has been an upsurge, an increase in the postings of nude images on the internet, uh, predominantly among young people. Uh, in fact, the trend seems to be cutting across the Caribbean because within the last couple of days, weeks, we have seen uh, similar images that we have seen here appearing in other countries as well via the internet, for the most part on Facebook. And uh, what people ought to take into consideration when posting these images, whether the acts are voluntary or involuntary, is that they have legal implications and persons can be charged. In fact, in some cases, some people have lost their jobs, apart from the public embarrassment, of course, that these things can cause. Now, according to the BVI Criminal Code, uh, Part 18, under the section Criminal Libel, Section 274 looks at definition of the of defamatory acts. and. As it points out in item one, a defamatory matter is likely is one that is likely to injure the reputation of a person by exposing him to hatred, contempt, ridicule, or likely to damage that person or any person in their profession or trade. So basically, posting these images, we all can tell without being lawyers that you can damage someone's reputation especially when these images are nude images and when they involve the act of sex. Um, of course, these are private, um, we would like to think, private acts and, and should be restricted to one's private quarters. Of course, you may argue that you see, you see these things in movies and so forth, but if you pay attention to the manner in which they are done, except, of course, you're looking at um, X-rated movies and so on, which you don't normally see in the public domain like that, um, they are done in a different way. And also, Part 19 under the BVI Criminal Code looks at uh, nuisances and other offenses against the public in general. And Section 284 looks at obscene publications. Of course, there are penalties attached to these defamatory and obscene publications. And when you get involved in these activities, whether voluntarily or involuntary, you are, you are pretty much subjecting yourself to the relevant charges applied and in some cases imprisonment up to six months and so forth the charges could range, um, vary depending on the on the offense so do you know if any investigations have started or going forward regarding these instances of posting of uh well nude or, or what could be construed as pornographic material it's interesting it's a relevant question because uh since the images were seen over the last couple of weeks here in the territory, we know of, uh, at least in one or a couple of cases, persons losing their jobs and so forth. Whether they have been disciplined or actually fired, we are not sure because not much information is coming out. But certainly, as it relates to the, the, the agencies responsible for the administration of law in the territory, the police and so forth, we have heard nothing. In, in fact, not even uh, official statements, for example, from the office of the of the DPP condemning these actions. So it's it's really unfortunate. But at this point, no, we haven't heard of any official any charges being laid, except that in some cases, what appears to be the victim involved, in terms of the people who are seen in the in the videos, may not have been the people who actually posted the images. So we are not sure, but. Clearly, the, 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 what appears to be the victims, they are the ones who have uh, suffered the, the, um, the, the fallout of this. They are suffering from the fallout of this because we don't know who posted them. So we can't say maybe it's an act of um, revenge porn and therefore the, the man or the woman or someone who may have posted these images is yet to be uh, discovered and charged. And you haven't had an opportunity to speak with any law, law enforcement officials? I have had conversations in camera, and those conversations are usually uh, not allowed. Uh, I can't disclose what was said, but for the most part, you really expect that the relevant offices would have made some official statements by now, because certainly these things have, imp uh, have implications for the image of the territory and certainly to the, the, um, the, 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 the sort of culture you create among young people as it relates to the uh, posting of pornographic material via the internet. Yeah. 
You know, um, recently, or uh, here of late, I should say, there's been a lot of discussion about postings on the internet, especially uh, regarding young persons posting and, and making it known to the young people that what is being um, said and done and seen on the internet, uh, on Facebook and social media, uh, is being paid attention to by employers around the world. That's right. And so a lot of times you can be judged based on the things that you say, the things that you post, the pictures that you post, your behavior on, and on social media. Yes. Uh, and still we have young people uh, seemingly not paying attention to uh, what, what, what the, the business world is saying about taking care not to put yourself in a, in a compromising position in social media uh, because it will impact your uh, quality of life for the rest of your life. In fact, I think I recall that subject being one of the moots for one of the uh, public debates here among the secondary school uh, students in one of the debate competitions. And in addition to that, the images, when they are posted on, online, they will stay online forever, except you find the host of, of Google or what have you, um, or Facebook, as in the case may be, and they remove them. Even if they, they are not seen on your Facebook page anymore because you have removed it, doesn't mean that it, it is no longer online. They will be accessible. And in some cases, when your name is attached to the, the, the posting, it's easy for it to show up when someone types in your name online to see what um, they can find about you. Do you have the ages of these young people? No, but uh, so far it's easy to tell that they are uh, above the age of 18 they're about because as I said in, in a couple of cases we, we know that um, they were dismissed from their places of work at least in a few cases and um, it, as it relates to that it's interesting that the, the, the Cyber Crime Act of 2014 does not really restrict or cover the postings of nude images on the internet for adults but it certainly addresses the unlawful publication of computer data and child pornography. Uh, it says in uh, section 13, item 1, a person commits an offense if he or she publishes, whether to another person or to the public, and by whatever medium, information obtained, whether by himself or herself, or by through another person. And it goes on to explain um, in further detail and looks at the different clauses as it relates to what um, comprises or what constitutes uh, unlawful publication of child pornography and so forth. Well, certainly this, uh, this story, uh, Sean, should alert parents to pay more attention to the activities of their children in, in regarding social media. There are a lot of parents whose children have their own private domain, uh, so to speak, yes. where they're in their rooms, in their homes, and they have all the modern technology at their disposal. They Unsupervised. Have, unsupervised they have on the internet the Wi-Fi high-speed internet they can do all kinds of things that parents don't know about and it seems as though parents don't either don't have the time to pay attention or is not concerned but uh, for young people this is a dangerous situation for them to be in I don't know um, it may be something need to be done from a, a, a public perspective or a government perspective I, I don't know how how is this yeah, something that we should be, uh, become more involved with as a society as a community it is definitely for a, a cause for national concern and in a related matter which probably even complicates things like this even more the police officer allegedly uh, who allegedly assaulted a minor on virgin god he was placed on compulsory leave uh, and um, we are told that uh, he was officially charged with indecent assault and is to appear before the magistrate's court. We're not sure if he has appeared as yet. Now, certainly, whether the allegations are true, whether the, the act took place or not, the incident can undermine further the public's perception of the members of the Royal Virgin Islands Police Force. And certainly, uh, all members of the force, not just this one who is in who um, has allegedly committed this act. And these things only seem, uh, only serve to widen the gap 
between the public's confidence and the police ability to reach out and forge alliances with the public? Well, certainly it, it certainly does, and I have to agree with you with um, the stain that it puts on the police force, um, particularly in regards to its, its, its aggressive activity towards uh, community policing. And if you, uh, if you want to build a relationship with the community, you certainly can't sexually abuse the children. <laughs> exactly. <you know? laughs> So you know, I mean, it's, it's, a, it's a real sad situation. Yeah. And, and, and it's not only a sad situation from the point of view of the officer that may have allegedly committed these acts, uh, and, and, and the child, of course, who, who are the victims of these, these acts. But as a society, I mean, it speaks to where we are as a society. You have, on the one hand, the, uh, the, 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 the obscene and the pornographic material yes. being uh, placed on, posted on the, the social media. And then in reality, on the, on the other hand, you have um, acts of uh, unlawful sexual activity with minors and uh, with amongst the, um, perhaps even might uh, be statutory rape. Exactly. And, and, and being perpetrated by officers by, of, of by, the law. By those persons who yeah. are sworn to protect, to, protect, right. to protect you and protect the children. So this, uh, you know, we, we are coming into some really uh, serious areas here in the community in the Virgin Islands um, where... We are beginning to engage in behaviors, and I suspect that a lot of this behavior we are, we are seeing uh, in the international media, whether it's through the movies, uh, in the music, and, and we, we, are, we are behaving uh, in a way that, uh, that is suggested by a lot of uh, the mass media and uh, mass media publications. So the cultural, from the, from, the from, cultural from, intrusion from the international again. From the national, international community. Yeah. And we need, really need to get a hold of ourselves and start looking to see uh, where, where we're going as a community, where we're going as a society uh, in adopting these alien behaviors. Because certainly when I was growing up, I, I, you know, I, I'm not saying it might not have been happening, but certainly it wasn't as prevalent as it is today. And he has uh, uh, shared some interesting stories, and we hope to hear more on JTV News about these stories, and hopefully we could, get, uh, we could come to some agreement as a society as to how we're going to handle these challenges.